I'll respond to your question by outlining some of the reasons why meditation is such an essential discipline, then outlining some of the reasons why people are often scared by meditation, and then outlining some advice for getting started with a meditation practice. I'll respond to this question in light of why any healthy living practice is so important, what are the benefits of fitness and a good diet? 2. Our minds rush all day, but we don't know that each passing idea consumes a certain amount of energy and takes a certain amount of energy away from us. We are fully depleted by the ideas we hang on to and deliberate about. I use deliberate in quotes because we do it unconsciously, we typically aren't even aware of it, and we can feel the bodily consequence very fast if we pay attention. 3. The final point I'd want to make regarding meditation's value is that we all have our own conversation about life and all of its various aspects. For example, my talk about working in an office environment is that it stinks and that it's a terrible way to live, this isn't my point of view, I'm just making it clear. Why is it that so many people are afraid of meditation? One they've never made a sincere effort to sit down and try. They have no idea what they're doing. When they close their eyes and sit down, their minds simply begin to roam in any direction they want, and they became restless and quit up. What are some examples of how people can incorporate meditation into their daily lives? As a result, here are some suggestions for making the actual process of sitting down to meditate as simple as possible. As soon as you wash your teeth in the morning, or when you sit down at work, or before you go to bed, or whenever you have only 5-10 minutes to spare where you could otherwise be spending time on social media, TV, or the computer, etc. Note, it's critical to remember the value of having a dedicated meditation space, or your go-to meditation sanctuary. Actual Meditation Techniques A few examples 1. Pay attention to the tightness in your body, your shoulders are definitely shrugged up, your brows are probably tense, your tongue is probably moving about aimlessly, and so on. You'll immediately understand what you've discovered before tensing up again as you notice it and go on to another portion of your body with tension. Bring your attention back to your breath when your mind wanders. Ask yourself why you can't stay with your breath and in your chair for even a few minutes than running off into your imagination with your thoughts. What is it in me that prevents me from simply sitting down for 5 minutes to enjoy some alone time? Is it possible that I'm mentally so weak that I can't sit for 5 minutes without being stimulated? Meditation must be practiced on a regular basis in order to become a habit. Having some type of accountability is one of the most essential tools for sticking to any 